Good afternoon, traders. Today is the 16th of May. We are looking at the SPY chart, and I want to highlight that we have broken above new highs. A lot of talk about a pullback. In fact, there has been talk about pullbacks for many, many weeks now. This whole area, traders, again, were very concerned about a pullback, causing the markets maybe to roll over. This area again here, everybody was very concerned about a pullback. This area, especially right here with these black bars, we look for a, a lot of people. I kept seeing uh, on Twitter and other sources, everybody kept saying, oh, market's going to collapse, market's going to collapse, market's going to collapse, market's going to collapse. Well, it hasn't. It keep, keeps going up. Um, and I want to highlight the fact that we're looking at a potential right now to see this market trend attempt to ex extend higher so now understand that we've gotten above this level we want to try to understand this fibonacci retracement level here and again as we begin to move higher we want to try to move above i'll leave this as our primary level and i'll spread this out a little bit we want to try to understand again let me get rid of some of these and again, I'm trying to highlight the fact that you are going to hear everybody talk about a market collapse for the next couple of weeks. Everybody's going to be telling you it's over, it's, it's done. And I'm going to just warn you that if you follow that advice, you're likely going to be selling into an upward trend and you're likely going to take a lot of heat. Now, the way I look at this, I would come back up off of this low right here. And I would tell you that we have very strong support in the 382 to 50 area right down here. So try to get this area here, 382 to 50. We have very strong support right here. And we have secondary major support down in this area here which is the 382 to 50 area here. So we have very large support in this area, 380, uh, 382 to 50, and then we have secondary support in 382 to 50 here. Now, why is this important? Okay, it is very important for you to understand, and let me make sure I got this right. That's going all the way up, 25, and this one, the deeper one is going all oh, going up too high. Hold on. This has got to go up to this area. Actually, no, it should go right up to this area because that's our current high. So let me come in here, modify this up to our current high. And that then puts the intermediate support level right up in here. So where we're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, is this 516 to 519 area right here, this middle area. This is critical support for the market. If we get a rollover in trend, you're going to watch this 516 to 518 area be critical support. And then finally, you've got critical support down here at 513. In the meantime, these new higher highs all the way up, breaking above these looping channels here are going to create a Fibonacci price theory telling us that we are very, very bullish at this moment. Now, this is an expectation for a rollover that may or may not come. If you follow my research, I also highlight the fact that we could extend quite a bit higher, as you can see with my other line drawings here. We could end up with some type of a rollover formation here. Especially after breaching these new highs, we could consolidate for a little bit before attempting to break up into the 560 to 580, maybe 590 area. And I really do believe that's the likely outcome going forward. So again, be aware that we need to uh, stay on top of the actual trending. And part of what I use to do that is this. Now, this is, again, one of my custom indicators on TradingView. This is called the SPY Base Trend Index. That's what we're looking at right here. This is an accumulation or an accumulation phase of US dollar-based assets starting to accumulate. Higher high, higher low. We've got a low down here, a 
couple of weeks back. This is a weekly chart, and we are starting to see U.S. dollar-based assets really become the dominant uh, asset to go to or go-to asset in this in this process. We're getting an upper hook here. We're starting to hook upward here. Um, we would likely, I would like to see this SPY continue to push a little higher, maybe up in the 540, 545 area. But again, we're getting green bars here, upward trending, means U.S. dollar-based assets are dominant right now uh, as far as global traders looking for uh, which assets to place their part their money into. Secondarily, we have my custom smart money index, which is again weekly. And we have been in trending mode here for quite a while. Each one of these dips represents a potential pullback. We've come out of that now. We're rolling higher and we're kind of in this mode, literally, or this mode where, yeah, we might see a little bit of a pullback. Yeah, we might see some uh, some moderate rotation or tightening in price, but we're likely in trending like you see right here. And again, in this area, very likely in trending to continue to stay in this area. We would have to get up into this area to potentially set a bottom up, which doesn't look like it's going to happen. Or we would have to get down into this area to potentially set up a top, which means we've got a long way to go before we're going to be able to maybe set up a top. Now, granted, this could move down over three, four, five weeks into topping territory. But as long as this is sitting in this middle area here, folks, we're in trending. And the predominant trend is bullish. So I want you to be aware that I don't believe you have any real concern right now for a downward market trend. Maybe some consolidation, but no real downward market trend. Okay, so I'm going to leave you there. I want you to be aware that we have possible consolidation here, possible sideways rotation for another week or two, maybe only three or four days, then tomorrow's Friday. So that would mean maybe by Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, we could be trending. And I believe we're going to see a very big breakout up into this 540 area, 545 area, which could be very detrimental if you're listening to all these people tell you that the market's going to collapse. So be aware. Everybody's been trying to tell you that the market is going to collapse for the past three or four weeks um, ever since this top. I can't tell you how many people I see out there saying it's going to crash. It's going to crash. And I'm just trying to warn you this entire move up. My systems have been bullish the entire time. A bit of rotation here, but I've been bullish since right about here all the way up. And I'm going to tell you again, I'm in trending. I'm seeing U.S. dollar based assets accumulate. I'm seeing that this will likely stay and continue to trend up to 545. Well, 540, 545, then eventually maybe running into resistance right up in this 555 to 558 area. So we'll see how it plays out. Okay, guys, that's it for now. Bye.